So after the glorious victories that the Carthaginian noble, I'm oh, sorry, the Seleucid nobles are hearing from Italy, the Seleucids would like to offer a gift of 10,000 gold pieces to the, uh, the conquering Carthaginians, as the nobles feel like it is, is only just that they do that. However, in return, the Seleucid noblemen would love to have uh, or regain uh, conquest of Algia, Algia, Algia in Libya, the Obila. city that you hold, um, <laughs> as, as, you know, as a, a constant um, show of our friendship mm -hmm. and the, the glorious, glorious people. Um, however, if, if this is refused, the Seleucid nobles will be very uncontrollable and, and who knows what they will do. Uh, yeah, I actually think this is a pretty fair, fair compromise. Also, but how would you want to do this? Because we're trading at the moment. How can I give? I, yeah, I can like let that. it rebel. Do you want me to do that, or do you want to just go to war and take it and then peace out? Uh, I'll break trade. Um, we'll see how long the timer is. I think it's six turns for trade. Okay, but that's uh, let me do it now, just to see. Because I feel like I could maybe somehow force it to rebel. I could like delete buildings and stuff, and it would rebel pretty quick. I'd imagine. Now of honor, glory, and other if you didn't want to cancel the trade, for instance. I come as an honest oh, just get it back as I think I think 10k is fine guys too. Um, so it doesn't say that there's a debuff for some reason there definitely is oh there was when I was Moria I'll tell you that and it says it said it when I was playing yeah there. it hasn't said anything here and I feel like I've done it before and it, it like maybe because we're we're players maybe ask for 20,000 honestly I think I'm not gonna ask for more I, I was tempted to uh maybe yeah maybe well can you you can check with other people I don't know. Well, either way, do we do we yeah, have a deal, sir? Ten thousand gold. Uh, let me consult with my chat. Okay. <laughs> if you go into diplomacy, if you want to hold the timer for a sec. Okay, I will do. Uh, or just do your turn. <laughs> either way. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Let's see what my let's see my leader's traits. Let's role play a little here and see what see what he would do. He's cheerful. He's cheerful. Erudite. Mm. He's generous. No, I don't need a non-aggression deal. That makes me sound scared. To be honest, we've got a lot of money. I could raise an army down here easy. I could easily have one, ar at least one. You know, maybe not take the full brunt of Seleucid force, but I could have an army. Haggling saves face. Haggling does save face. Um. We'll need all the ar- Yeah, exactly. I agree. Need all the armies you can in Italy, that's for sure. And we, if we want to take Sicily out eventually. What about something like leaving Cyrene for 20 turns or something like that? Maybe I could ask him what his, in his intentions with Cyrene are. You can't move an army in Africa? I can't enforce that. That's crazy. No, I'm thinking more along the lines of you leave Cyrene... In de not independent. They're his client. But, I mean, you leave Cyrene as is... For a while. Yeah, this this place literally makes nothing. I don't have dominant culture. I've never built anything in it apart from this. You know, how much was that? That was two grand. It's like actually it's quite a good deal, <laughs> to be honest, ten thousand. But I would maybe throw in a clause for uh you know, Cyrene. So how many years would that be? Until two eighty, we could say nineteen years? How many that's way longer actually. Ten years maybe? 10 years is 40 turns, actually. Jesus Christ. Till 270, which would be... 36 turns? Lives, leave Cyrene 10k and non-militarize. I don't think we need to do that, because I'm not worried about him. He's not going to... If he's giving me... A, if he's even negotiating to give a town over like that, I don't think he's going to push for Africa. Maybe he would, though. But I don't think so. I think otherwise he would just push. Why, why give me money at all? 
because he doesn't need to. So destroy the buildings, get the money from that. I'm not gonna do that. That's I mean. Uh, so ready to take you up on your offer. The only stipulation that that uh, the Senate has, the Carthaginian Senate, that is, is that Cyrene be left as a as a client, you know, rightful client, but left, you know, alive, so to speak, semi-independent. Uh, for nine years. Well, uh, yeah, as such, they are a satrapy of mm -hmm. the Seleucids, and uh, the Seleucids are very generous to their satrapies. They support them financially, uh, politically. They show them the, the true culture of Alexander, the once ruler of the world. Um, so there will be no intention to take out Cyrene. Oh, that sounds good then. Okay, yeah, cool. So uh, I will... Um, prepared to move my forces to uh, liberate and conquer, or not conquer, uh, simply march into rightful Seleucid territory, just Seleucids marching into Seleucid land. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I've been once my army is there, I will transfer the funds to you, sir, and um, we'll make peace immediately afterwards. Sounds good. He wants to have a base of operations to attack Carthage. He does. He's right here. Guys, he's also, right there. by, like, waiting until my <laughs> army gets there, maybe that will trigger a trade timer or something, you know, so... Right, yeah, yeah. Look, think think of it this way. If he wanted, he could just take it. He could just take it, right? Everybody knows he could just take it. I don't have anything there, right? He's offering 10k, not so that he needs to buy himself time to just march to here. He could just go there. <laughs> um... I think he just really wants the province. That's why I said you gotta leave Cyrene alone. But it's his atrophy. But as long as they're not his, uh, you know, we always have a chance of taking them out a little bit easier in the future. Um, transferring funds. Jackie sounds like an Indian scam caller. What are the odds that he keeps the money? I mean, that would be insane. <laughs> I don't think Jackie would do that. Um, or he can surround Africa. That's the... Th yeah, that's a good point. He could go straight for... That's a really good point. That's a really good point. Huh, I didn't think of that. He could go for Gar Garamantia. And uh, that would be tough if he starts pushing that way. We might see if we can get them, them as a client. I don't want him, yeah, curling, curling around Africa. The province of Africa, that is, this one. Where the fuck did that army come from? I have absolutely no idea. I didn't get to see. We have full coverage of Italy, of Italy and there was one army Italy down on the very, very end back. of it. Oh, looks like they're going to take that town back, but it's okay. I looted I, it anyway. I, I think what happened to me happened to you in Alexandria. Because I think you get more movement if you go into a city. I'm not sure. I've never done it. No, oh, the, the, the army at the south of Italy is actually still there. So this one came from somewhere else. It might have been dropped off at sea and just run up the road or something. I don't know. Maybe it was an ambush dump? Maybe. That's that. that probably a reach. It probably just like, it was like a movement AI thing. But the AI can move millions of miles. That's probably more likely. I'm actually totally okay with that though, because, well, pretty okay with it. I wasn't replenishing there anyway, and I got the money from looting, so it, it doesn't really bother me too much. But it's just the fact that there is yeah. another army now to think to think about. That's a professional stack. I didn't even look at it. I can't see it. They've moved now, yeah, presumably up north, towards the other one. I think they came in from the sea, if anything, and just landed here and then ran up. And my guess is that they probably actually didn't have the movement to push much further into further up. They're in ambush stance. Doubt that, but maybe, but yeah, probably not. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at that army. I didn't look at it. Okay, still, so we're still using Marian troops, which is good, or uh, pre Marian troops, which is good. But yes, that is a lot of. Well, there's Principes. Two Triarii. No Cav. No Cav. Ready for orders. We're not replenishing up here. Was this like this last turn? That's a huge mistake if that was the case. Ready 
Okay. We gotta use our mercenaries to our best to the best of our abilities. Jesus Christ. We gotta merge up some of these units. We fight for you, my lord. What's the population like in Rome? Thirteen thousand foreigners, a hundred Libby Phoenicians, two hundred, three hundred subjects, and sixty Phoenicians. I'm surprised they don't replenish them. At your command. I guess it's too many subjects. You should attack now. Don't let them link. Are you fucking out of your mind? With what? I mean, I could just buy so many mercenaries. That was the original reason for attacking the first army. But we just we just went through a siege battle. I mean, they've got no garrison this time, which would make things a little easier on us. Garrison's really weak. Come to my navy. I still have it. It's down here. It's just I know that they have a navy of equal size or bigger, so I'm a bit worried. But now that the Syracusean navy is up here too, I'm a bit more confident in moving around there. Now we have five turns. We have five turns before we run out of supplies, but we have to, we could take the towns on this side. Yeah, so let's just go around now. No, I didn't get to give him the holes. Shit. Oh well. So we're around on this side now. I'm going to come up and try to stop anything that crosses, if anything crosses anymore. So the first thing I want to do is then take Arminum. Oh, we have a... This guy as well. Disembarking, my lord. Question is, can they take it on their own? I actually don't think they can. Without getting um, a bit of a buff themselves. So these are just mercenaries, so I don't mind merging them too much. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that, actually. It's... All right. Okay. You actually take manpower as well when you're doing this. 200 Peregrini. Plebs. Take some plebs. See, we got to fight that out, None technically. But we could just bring up our navy and take it really quickly in the subsequent turns. My Lord. It's all about what do we do with these guys. Now, we can recruit straight up from the foreigner class where we are and replace our armies with companion hoplites, which actually seem to be pretty comparable with what we got. Pretty comparable. A little bit lower morale. But they got higher bonus versus elephants and calf. Much less so less armor and less morale, but not not like huge amounts. Probably a good amount less armor. Weapon damage is stronger, charge bonus is stronger, defense is stronger, and attack is stronger. So they're actually pretty good. The Romans won't let you recruit, no way. We well if we get on the back side of Rome we will. The opposite side of Rome. But yeah, there's no garrison here yet either. I live to serve the mighty Carthage. Well, I guess we'll, we can't recruit these guys anyway, so we're just gonna have to get rid of them. So if we step over here, that should be fine, right? We can recruit, and if they attack Rome, then we're called in. And not only recruit, but we'll get the mercenaries as well first. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We'll get mercenaries and then do a little recruiting if we can. That's how it works, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't want them to attack this if somehow we're not called in. I'm pretty sure we will be. Alright, so let's merge these hoplites up. Uh, let's merge... Those guys. 
Bless our journey. Oh, we don't need to. Okay. And then we'll take these guys. This. On the move, my lord. a little better what about this army then i live to serve the mighty carthage oh, it's diluted their experience oh well okay so we've got 11 units there and 14 here command. now we're going to get every single unit we can nine thousand for that Got to be done. I live to serve the mighty Carthage. And that is all our money. Uh, so I don't think I can take this town unless we bring up another army. So I'm going to wait for the navy to come up to take it because I don't want to fight a battle again because we'll just lose too much. In hindsight, I probably should have sent this army back towards Rome. Make an army in your capital and come over. It takes way too long. It took us four hours to move our armies from here to Rome. I don't know how many turns that was, but it would just take way too long. Uh, what I'd rather do is use this to take Arminum and then also help take Asculum and keep the sea calm, so to speak. How can I serve Carthage? At your command. Okay. I can't make troops anyway because I don't have any money. We spent it all on mercenaries. So we'll see. That's true though. We did... Oh shit. I actually got rid of the recruitment building here. Ready for Damn. It's going to turn into slums. Fuck. I mess, messed that up. Ah, well. Well, what we could do is... No. Either if we delete any of these buildings, we get slums no matter what. Oh well, not that big of a deal. We could stop a building, which would be really annoying. I don't want to do that. Is there any other buildings? Stop this one. Shame, building back literally the same building we had, but it has to be done. My lord. Uh, but it does free us up to actually get more stuff. A noble cause requires noble men. At your command. Yeah, a good amount of uh, melee troops in the other army. Okay, we'll see how that goes. See if a Rome attacks us or not. Let's see a little uh, Seleucid spy there. At your service. Send us by. You honor my people, uh, so we're agreeing we're obviously not recording our allies or anything so we don't affect honesty. relations with them uh yep sure from chaos we all sprang and to nothingness you will return we will see to it tommy thank you so much joined. i was saying my vast my satrapy is obviously automatically joined but oh yeah um, oh man M imagine if they all broke away <laughs> That would be rough. <laughs> I don't think they physically can. Yeah, really. uh, I don't think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually in range, even though it says I am. For some reason. Do you want me to delete that temple? Uh, no, leave it there. Okay. Almost you gotta convert it anyway, though. As bought. Yeah. As bought, as bought, yeah, yeah. People were like, delete everything. I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Create slums, yeah. If you were, if you, if, you, if I turned up to the city and it was completely <laughs> slummed out, I would not pay you a single dime. You might want to use the third army to kill. Right. Sorry, what? Are you reinforcing this battle? I am, yes. Are you fighting? Are we, we're not fighting right now. No, so it's an auto resolve. Yeah. I'm just confused. So this means Syracuse are taking Arminum. Damn, I really don't want them to take it, though. I hope they just sack it.
So this is Syracuse at Arminum, and we're coming, we reinforced to help them take it. Good money. We'll kill them. I don't know who else is that war from. Fuck, man. Syracuse took it, fucking dickheads. That's so funny. <laughs> My fleet's. Well, right? I was sieging it last turn. I should have left them on siege. Ah, that's so annoying. If my army wasn't there, they probably wouldn't have even done it. Because yeah. they wouldn't have been able to win it. Damn. Stop sieging. Could have declined to reinforce. Actually, yeah, I should have done that. Why help them? I don't know. I just didn't even think about declining it. <laughs> it's your vassal. So you still get the province. Oh, that's true. They are my vassal. I totally forgot that. Okay. Anyways. We can levy from client, actually. We could get some... Well, we can get them anyway, so that's kind of useless. Okay, so Rome didn't attack. And we still have Asculum to go for. Which we could siege right now. We can't get to fully yet. It's also a shame. And if we... There's no point taking it while they have an army right here. Oh, that was a mistake, actually. Why I clicked them to move before I checked that. Oh yeah, this guy's the governor guy. Forgot about that. Actually improves public order where he is. Still negative five though. Can you attack the city with two armies? This one? I don't feel like I'd rather get the replenishment to be if I'm honest. Especially as it's about to be winter as well. Their other army stayed down here. Okay, that's good. So this is Legion 6, and this is 2. So 2 and 6, remember that. Now we could go up here and just raid. It's right? Oh, it is contested waters, though. Good orders, my lord. I would travel many miles for Carthage. The Liberation? The liberation over here, I think, might be nice. If it works. Oh. Back! At least uh, siege it so Syracuse don't. Yeah, what happens if this army comes up, though, while I'm sieging it? They can't do anything, right? Yeah, I don't think so. They could only send their garrison fleet out, so it wouldn't be that much. Yeah, we'll just begin the siege. And then next turn, if we can, our army will come down. Both armies will come down. So this army will come down to Asculum, and this army will go down to Beneventum. If everything works out. Let's just recruit some local troops then while we're here. So that's all the nobles. Actually, our guys won't replenish properly if we don't put them back. Which apparently didn't work. Come join our ranks. We have three slingers in that, three archers and two slingers. Okay, so we have a good amount of missiles. Maybe embezzle funds with that guy. Yeah, it's a good call. Thanks for the reminder. So yeah, he has six cunning, but he can't because he's leading an army. Ah. Uh. Oh, right. <laughs> He's the guy right up here. Uh, we need someone else then who can do it. Who's not leading an army. So she really needs like two more cunning somehow. So there's plus one. I'll just see if there's any plus twos. There's plus two. All right. So she's going to get an idiot. An idiot. Idiot. And uh, she'll have enough to do it in future. Were there any fights already? Yeah, we had one big battle at the beginning of the game. Or beginning of the stream. It just feels like all we can really recruit is this unit, which is good. Companion hoplites. But I just don't want to be like so hoplite dependent. Now there is like one, two, three, four, five, six melee, like regular infantrys there. I just don't feel like it's enough because we're so hoplite out of our minds. I'll just get a couple of these. They're probably not very good though. The Tarusi Oxmen. They're not, they don't seem too bad, but they're not great. Their morale is... Uh, 
Actually, the morale's pretty good. 51? Wow. Actually, stronger than my... Oh, no, it's not. 55 is what we have. They'll do. They'll just have to do. They're decent. Okay, then we'll get them. Where we had a battle just now. And fight this out? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Um, I'll explain this as well. Hmm. Turns the stone. Turns the stone. Yeah. So this was an agreement between me and Jackie. We transferred this for ten thousand, which I expect to have. Be I'm contemplating looting the city for ten grand and giving you back. Is that how much you get out of it? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Where does it base that on? There's only two buildings in it. It's a level one building and a level two building. Rome no had idea. like gave me like eight grand. Like where is this coming from? <laughs> Anyways, um so that's a, an agreement between me and Jackie to transfer that. So he's gonna go for peace and hopefully ten thousand now as well, which is the deal. And that's just purely because like I don't have anything down there to really support it. An and it's a peaceful way of resolving it. For an unworthy audience. You should listen. Oh, right, I'm little, so sorry. Little I something on top. I, I'm I bending my knee to you, sir. You're just too strong for me. Take oh, yes. money. Please have, have peace. Mind in your skull. I will speak yeah, I can only give you that much. And then, do you want to trade again? Greetings. Yeah, sure. May all that I speak add to the dignity of our... How much money do you make from me? From I trade? For a... Not that much. I think it was like 350 or something. I'll check now. Yeah, sorry. I was just clicking away all the peace things. Um... 415? I am making 655. Damn, you're getting the better deal. I'm not happy about that. Uh, Rome was paying me 800 gold in trade. Oh, wow. It's insane. Oh my god, Armenia is paying me loads as well. I was going to maybe kill Armenia, but I'm not making, making that much from them. They wouldn't trade with me for some reason. Yeah, you actually yeah. give me the most trade. 415 is the most I make from any one person. Oh, look, Jack has gone for Crete. Throwing his hat into the ring for Greece, as uh, as I thought he might. I didn't think he'd bother with Anatolia until he's taken out Greece. So if he goes for Sparta, then he, he might be waging a dual war, and then he'll have to go for Athens. Dual war in Rome. Hmm, that would be interesting. If we get over there by then. I don't know if we will get over there by then. So this is at Asculum. Oh no, this is at uh, Arminum. It's okay, that wasn't recruiting. They might take that town pack off Syracuse. It actually kind of not that bad for me. Disengage! Destination oh. Reached. Okay, well apparently we're going to help defend it. Now the question is which army is that? That's the one that was probably at Beneventum. And the other one is coming up from Cosentia. Then your best army to retake Beneventum and hold it, and your worst units to help in the north. I don't know. So, if I send my best army and I put them in Beneventum, they could just send this one down south and this one up, and then I'm dead. I don't think we can take Beneventum until we've killed one army. This army is like kind of on its own. It's just it's winter right now, so we can't go that far to actually engage them. I can move both my armies down into Beneventum, but then, yeah, I think they're just going to come south. Forgot about this. We just got peace with all of those. Let's see what kind of trade deals we can get, if any. Score DC, they're happy with me. Come on, guys. There's a good pork roasting for you. I wonder why we weren't trading, actually. First, we talk. 5,700 easy. Thank you. Um, let's see who else. Lydia, they like me as well. Let's go. Be welcome. But may Athena strike us all dumb if we speak anything but truth in our deliberations. Oh my god. Your words bring... Not bad. Just made ten over ten grand. I guess the good thing would actually a lot of Jackie's satrapies are we couldn't trade with them anyway because they're inland. Greetings. 
And these guys have all now made a lot of money. <laughs> the sirens, sirenikins are smart, whatever you want to call them. Or they're just poor. <laughs> Gold is usually offered in payment. Good enough. Must accept. Um, alright. That's a bit of a boost. 31 grand in the bank now. I need to decide what to do. So indecisive today, I don't know why. Let's give them their upgrades. We fight for you, my lord. It's kind of a low quality army, both of these. I think you might be right. While it's winter. I might move my army, this fleet up here, just to hold this town, help hold this town for a turn. We're not really doing anything here. I mean, can we even? Yeah. Um, might just go there and hold out with these guys. I don't know. Because the winter, the Roman army can reach Benevent, can't reach Beneventum. Can we though? Not fully, anyway. What's its garrison, though? It should be pretty weak still. Uh, it's almost back to full strength. That's such shit, because my guy's gar my garrison's, like, still 21 out of 100. I guess it's based on your manpower, though. We did sack the place. Although we did sack that other place. They seem to be able to get it back way quicker than me. Get uh, one of these going. Get the one that's closest up to us, Thapsus. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, invest in the trade stuff we had. We Cancel it before this thing. And they're pretty happy. We don't really need another temple just yet. So what also happened in between turns there? Uh, we went to war with someone over here. So we're at war now with not the Vivisi, but the these guys. Yeah, the Aussi. Not too concerned about that. I just joined the war because we're allied with these guys and they asked, they called me in. I don't want to break that alliance, so just interesting to pay attention to what's going on over there. It's winter. Romans won't, won't be able to reach Rome. I'm not worried about them reaching Rome. Uh, we can't see because they're in fortified stance how far they can go. The question is just what do we do with these two armies right now? Like, Ascalon is obviously the last town we need to take. So we need to bring an army down this way to go for it. They've got an army in the way. So we could divert one over that way to help. All right, this guy can get pretty close. We could have two next to each other. That just means that we're then leaving Rome open to an attack from this one, potentially. And we're leaving ourselves open then. They might fall back. And then the next turn, they both might come up this way as we're trying to come down to Ascalon. So it's just a little... Although we could, yeah, we could split at that point. Okay, then. I think that's the best thing to do. Maybe not the best thing to do, but it's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I can't attack these guys. They're just, unfortunately, slightly out of my range. But we can at least um, do that. And we can also bring the fleet up north. These guys are out of supplies really soon, which is scary. Three turns. So we need to put them into port somewhere. <laughs> we need Ascalon in like three turns, basically. Otherwise, they're going to start taking pretty heavy attrition. And I think it even hurts their movement. Uh, we'll just come up here to reinforce. So that way, if the Roman army tries to go for the town, I think we're, we'll also be called in to help. And the, so will the fleet. So at least it's, this town is, should be safe. And we should be free now to go into patrol stance. Get moving. So Rome is gaining back lo uh, public order. Okay. So yeah, if next turn then, or if in between turns, they try to go for Rome, at least we got some defense there. Not great though. And I'm hoping, I'm more hoping than anything that they can't reach it. <laughs> Don't overthink. Just go for, take it. I'm going with what my option is here, not the chats, and that's what I've been doing lately. So I'm okay with. Like last stream, we I used their help a lot though, so I appreciate that. The elephants aren't replenishing. I live to serve the mighty well, nothing's replenishing. It should be. Elephants are what? Are they subjects or foreigners? 
They're subjects. They're Pelum, right? So this is the Pelum? Yeah. We have other units in here that are subjects, so they should replenish the same as anything else. 700 subjects is just probably just not enough for the entire army. Like all the, like I'm pretty sure these units are all subjects, that's a subject. Don't know about the Cav. Rome is a walled city, so they have to siege it. That's true. That's true, they would buy us a little bit of time. So we could just come back if we need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm just a little bit worried about our fleet being quite uh, low on supply right now. Supplies are depleted. Negative movement. You know, if you're running out, it means you might never get home. So we really need to take ask them just so that they can replenish in the next turn or two. If we can't seemingly see a way to take it in the next turn, we'll have to send these guys all the way back. And they're just going to get slower. <laughs> and then take damage and then be really vulnerable. To get all the way back to Carolus or to Carthage, it's quite the distance. So, Alright, that's it then. Um, anything else? Don't think so. Got our hoplites. All good. We've got 16,000 gold though, so maybe we should be building something else as well. I wanted to build up one of these. That's 5,000. We could maybe build one more thing and then still have like a nice safe amount of money. Public order is actually getting lower here. Oh, uh, because of the rating. Okay, that should be the most upgrades we can do for a while. How much money do you get from Latium at the moment? Uh, about a thousand. Thousand four hundred and fifty four thousand five hundred basically. Where's our uh, governor actually? Yes. A long journey ahead of him, but I'm going to take it. Okay. Uh, did we move our spy? Yep, yeah, we didn't move this one though. How may I serve you? People are saying like do sabotage, blah blah. It's sixteen percent chance. You know, sixteen percent chance of of actually being successful. It's just way too low. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to risk my service. agent being killed or something or being removed. In a pretty good spot, we'll just leave it there, I maybe. Travel many miles for Carthage. How can I serve Carthage? Lowering our empire maintenance a lot with all these guys' upgrades. Alright. They didn't move. Oh, they did. They moved a little further south. Damn, man. The AI is performing very well as Rome, I have to say. They're always putting themselves within range of their town. Making it difficult to choose which, which one we go and attack. Now, we could have two armies attack that and bring the fleet around next turn, which should be enough to take the town. Just hope, it, again, it's not another one. Like, it'll just be like that last battle we had at the beginning of the stream. Except this time we'll have a navy. Now, they might not be in range of the town, are they? Oh, they are. Okay. Hopeful wishing. Well, that's just... Before, I'm so hasty to make moves. <laughs> so, Seleucids have taken Crete. No big uh, surprise. We saw them going for that for a while. Uh, but the next thing is interesting. So, Rome are looking to take Pella. And we make a good amount of money through there. I wouldn't like them to do that. They may very well achieve that goal. Because it doesn't look like Pella have got much in the way of a defense. Other than just their garrison. And that is the last Scordisi town. Because the Roman being at war with Scordisi for a while. But if Jackie wants to throw his hat in the ring for Hellas. He has to go for Sparta next. And then for Athens. Which means fighting Rome. He trades with them. So he might not want to do that for a while. Until he feels like they don't have much left. To fight me. How may I serve? I go. Your orders, my lord. So interesting. So they only have their they've enemy transports there. 
So that's they only got one fleet. They must have lost their fleets because we saw them have three at one time. All of them with around ten. Then we only saw two for the longest time. And I thought one went out here for a while because we put a war target on them. But maybe they died to the pirates. I don't know. Now it seems like their only fleet is this. Eleven ships. Alright, attack with your two armies. Hopefully you win, even if you don't. Then just attack with the navy against the depleted units. Oh no, I'm sure I'd win. It's just, if I... The issue is if I win and I take huge amounts of losses, this other army will just come up and wreck me. Like we did last time, we took huge amounts of losses, so I just don't want to do that again. <laughs> don't want to go through that again. Uh, might just get that cav, I guess. Two and a half grand, though, for them, but get them to fill out our army. I live to serve the mighty Carthage. How can I serve Carthage? All right, well... Let's just see what happens. <laughs> we need to dock this navy anyway. Get the blockade set up! Just go through this. So the Nori Confederation have risen up somewhere up to our north. Uh, who's this? And our admiral has gained that trait. Duty to the state. So tax and it's a bunch of stuff that really doesn't matter. <laughs> Negative upkeep for land armies. Great. Okay. So let's uh, take that empire maintenance thing off our woman. Although, let's embezzle the funds. Can she do it? Her gravitas is too low. Fuck that. Alright, let's just remove that. Let's get her married, though. Yeah, she still would have had too, much, too, too little gra gravitas. <laughs> I thought for a second she might have actually had it. Okay. So she's gotten married. She's now married to the... It looks like she's married to the guy we got rid of. From the portrait, actually. 